a train surfing bitch. <laughs> oh, oh no, I'm drifting. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> this is gonna be weird. Hello. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Gazooka and welcome back, or it's going to be welcome back in a second, to uh, Derail Valley. Now I haven't played this since having my new graphics card put in, and yes, you're probably thinking I have been on about it in the past few episodes of this, but who the fuck cares? So, in today's episode, actually I won't be needing this, I just thought, <laughs> because in today's episode I've earned enough money to um, play... Uh, sorry, not to play, to buy um, the longer um, track, oh sorry, longer trains or whatever it's called thing so I can tow, uh, sorry, I can haul more stuff and I've also um, got enough money to buy the steam locomotive. I've also got enough to buy the secret uh, custom vehicle that is the key in the top one. Um, but I think I might do that in another episode, because obviously these episodes are kind of long. Um, and as for the steam locomotive, I might not use it as often because of the fact that there is quite a lot to, to remember. And while it is fairly straightforward when you're used to it, I prefer the um, normal locomotives. But yeah, this game is looking pretty decent, like, um, and especially the developer. So like, he basically is just trying to more or less make it more aware, you know, get some more awareness of the game. So if you could go out there and uh, like subscribe to the YouTube to their YouTube channel, subscribe to their uh, not subscribe to uh, follow them on Reddit, on Twitter, on uh, Discord and stuff like that, um, you know, to help spread awareness of the game because that's how they're gonna unlock the community milestones um, and so far I don't know if he's put the new update in because I believe there was a new update so we're about to find out if there was or not if there was then there's going to be a few new things one of them is a new station a new outpost or whatever you call it and then the other one is a controller to re remote control your train like I say so I don't really know I've not really prepared as well as I would normally but um, yeah, so it looks like I'm going to have to stand up anyway, so <laughs> might as well. So, let's just get into it, shall we? There we go. Okay. Sweet. Right. Yeah, okay, so it bugs out now and again where you load into the game and it doesn't show these up. Um, kind of does it with a fair few VR games I've noticed, one of which is Blade and Sorcery, um, where you load in and your arms don't move, <laughs> even though you are moving. So it's the same sort of shtick with this. You just load out and load back in. So... Where are we? So I can show you. Look how much money we got. <laughs> we got plenty of money. So yes, um, and um, I also bought this as well. This is the the manual on how to use it. It's pretty much essentially how I remember using it on Microsoft um, Train Simulator. So that's very cool. Um, so yes, yeah, so you need to light the coal with this. So like that. See, my hand is on fire right now. But yep, yeah. didn't mean to do that. Hang on. There you go. No, just go back in the fucking thing. There you go. Now you got the shovel, obviously, to shovel some. <laughs> so there's that. No, I didn't want that. That wanted that. Okay. Um, but yes. Yeah, so I need. Oh, that's right. I needed to get to a place where there was a shop. Um, okay. So if we go there. So. All this is so much clearer, <laughs> so much clearer. So, um, these are all the shops, obviously I've got boundaries on still, so you'll be able to, you know, anyway. Um, might be able to fix that in the future, but right now I'm just working with what works. I will figure it out later on. So, as it says up here, uh, diesel service, steam service and shops. So basically steam and diesel. Diesel is essentially where you can fill up your diesel stuff and then steam is, you know, well, steam is, uh, you know. <laughs> But um, yes, I don't think the steam train is here, so we will have to find it, but that's no worries. But while I'm here, I could do some stuff. So shunting, I was a bit of a player last time. Shunting is essentially shifting things around, shunting. Um, so yeah, so this one, un unload and store a train with logs from forest south. And then this one is taking plywood and boards, and this one is boards and plywood. <laughs> 
okay. <laughs> uh, both are the same, 73, 73. But that's because we are, where are we? We are, where are we? <laughs> oh yeah, there we are, we're the sawmill. Usually there's like a little flag. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're at the sawmill down here. So this one's Goods Factory in Town, which is over here. That's not too bad. It's a relatively quick one because you can just go up here and follow mostly the straight lines. Um, and what is dope as well, which is how I've earned this much money, is I did two of these essentially. And you can do two at the same time. Um, and literally just pop them in like that. Um, because these are two different jobs. While they look like they're the same, they're not. They're the same in a way. But they're not the same um, thing, because obviously, as, as it says here, you know, you're hauling one lot here and one lot here. It's the same amount, weirdly, but um, you got like one lot there, and then there's one lot over there by the look of it. So anyway, and you can do two at a time, and that's what I've done. And what was brilliant was is that you get twenty thousand eight hundred and eight, twenty thousand eight hundred and eight. And what essentially happened was when you get here at that time or less, you get the same amount of money as a um, a speed bonus in a way, as an on time bonus. If you do it later than that, obviously that goes away and you just get this and that is it. So um, it is pretty cool in that regard. So yes, and this is very helpful. This is super helpful to you know find out where you gotta go. So we need to go to somewhere with a shop and somewhere with steam service. And the closest one is the steel mill so I think what I'll do is I'll hop in my train I won't take anything because obviously we've got enough money I don't really need to do that and plus I don't want this episode to be longer than a fucking hour <laughs> so I'm gonna take my train and I'm gonna drive it all the way up here um, actually no we'll go all over here with the squiggly bit down here then we'll go up because as you can see it sort of straightens out a bit more so I can go a bit quicker I can open it up a bit better so and then we're gonna jump in the steam train and we're going to try it out, baby. So let's go. Oh, yeah. Also, to help me out when I'm sat down to save me having to swither around and get tangled in my cables, I've done this, obviously, since while playing it on my own, is um, I've changed the button so it just does it 90 degrees now. So it's a lot less confusing. Also, I figured out how to use the, the uh, tingy. You just press the button in the middle and it does it. Obviously, it wouldn't do nothing there because there's nothing selected. Um, oh, yeah. And another thing is the community goals and whatnot, as I was talking about in the intro, um, as you can see, it says three or half three, all right, and it's sunny outside. When the developer gets enough awareness of this game, he will um, add in a day and night cycle and several other things. I can't remember them off by heart right now because it was about three, four days ago since um, seen it. Um, but like I say, definitely do go and um, subscribe to the YouTube channel, join his Reddit, or subscribe to his Reddit, um, and go onto his Discord, because it will be a lot more useful. Plus, he'll be adding as well turntables, which is what I mentioned in the first episode, not as turnstiles, I fucked that up, that's the wrong thing, that's the thing you go through in like a train station where it goes clink, and you swipe your badge or whatever. Um, I meant turntables where it more or less picks the train up, turns it round, and then drops it back down, and you can drive off the other way. Um, because obviously that would be very well needed in this sort of place. That ain't right. <laughs> okay. Um, is this... Um, that's facing forward. That's no different to that one. Um, but that one's already on the track. So I think I'll go... It got very quiet all of a sudden. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with this one. Because... So I'll turn that on, turn them on. Let's flip these up. Turn that bad boy on. Oh, listen to that baby purr, listen to that kitten purr. Oh, that's kind of cool. It saved them because I dragged them along last time. Okay, so let's go forward, take the brake off. Yeah, I probably should be sat down for this because I feel like I'm going to get very motion sick if I'm not careful. This is a lot better now. This is a lot smoother, to me at least. Okay. Because we're going to have to go in reverse anyway. Okay, so then... You grab this... No... Oh, God. Grab this and you go... Boop, like that. And then you pop that back. Because the lost and found things do work, as I've now found out. They do work, but you need to exit the game and go back in. And that's very inconvenient, but... Eh, what are you, you going to do? Right. 
So yeah, I don't know about the speeds because he's also going to add in some speed signs and stuff like that later on. Um, so as of right now, I don't know about like what speeds you should be doing and such, but I try to keep it so that I'm roughly doing 30 kilometers an hour. So here, um, but obviously when I'm just this carriage, I can go a little bit quicker because well, we're a lot lighter. And that, that squeaking then, what's cool is, is it tells you when you're going a bit too quick. So right now I'm going a little bit too quick, but I'm only one carriage. I'm literally just the engine. So I'm usually all right. Um, right, let's just have a quick look. So yeah, I'm going the right way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here, come up here, and then go left, and then go forward. And I should be able to turn around that way. So, fingers crossed. Uh-oh, bit too quick, bit too quick. Way too quick. <laughs> but yeah, you got to be careful there, man. This is a really, this is really weird standing and doing this. I've usually, I've only ever done this sat down. So this is a very weird experience for me. Yeah. So as you can see, this little thing moves, as I, you know, as you move. Oh bollocks. I don't want to derail, not standing up, I'll shit myself. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're just gonna keep going back. Um, until we get to here because it's probably going to send me like it's probably going to send me straight up like this and that's brilliant because I want to get to there and then go left so let's just keep an eye on braking because I don't want to be going too quick I don't want to be going too slow either because otherwise we're going to be here forever <laughs> we don't want that now do we I still don't know what this is about I don't know what the fan is for I really don't because it doesn't, like, I'd imagine it might be for the brakes to stop them overheating, maybe. And that would make sense, but like, this still goes up. That doesn't affect, that doesn't affect oil, fuel, sand, like, that has nothing to do with them. So I really don't know. I really don't know. Right, how far away are we now? Uh, getting closer, getting closer. Oh yeah, also there's a lot of graphical errors. And I think that's just part of the game, because obviously it was like this before I got my upgrade, and it's still like this now. Um, like that. <laughs> uh, that's not taking me the way I want to go. <laughs> okay, hang on. It's alright, I can fix this. Yeah, I need to go straight up there and then I can go forward across there. There you go. Oh, actually, I still need that, so... You see what I mean? It's a bit weird, like it's all a bit buggy still, but I don't know if that's... I'm going to have to say it's part of the game in a way, you know, it's the, the design of it so far. Because I'm on an RTX 2080 now, that's a pretty powerful graphics card, yet it's still like this. <laughs> also, don't worry, I will derail myself on purpose at the end of the episode. Because I was going to think of doing it last episode, but well, the game kind of fucked up, didn't it? <laughs> I tell you what people, oh look, here's a graphical error I was on about, look. But it's not going to hit, it's just going to clip through. See? <laughs> it's even funnier when there's a great big boulder just like there. <laughs> and it just like smacks into you but it don't do nothing. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to just skip to where I'm near enough to, at, at the steel mill. Or I'll probably get to here and then just fly as quickly as I can. So yeah, so I'll see you there. Give it the beans! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. 
Okay. <laughs> We're good. We're cool. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, just to let you know how loud this thing is. You think it's loud now? How about now? <laughs> I can't reach the horn. We're here, 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 and we're coming in hot, <laughs> real hot. <laughs> Where's my steam train? Where's my steam train? Where's my steam train? There's my steam train. Bang it. I gotta go get the license first. And slam them on. Neutral. Nice. <laughs> Turn them off. Neutral. Turn that off. Beautiful. Okay. We're all done in here. Sweet. Oh yeah, another thing as well that the, the developer is going to be putting into effect. Holy hell, this is really like a scale thing. <laughs> um, the when you if you, if I left that. Uh, oh, hang on. Is it implemented yet? What was that in? It was in. This. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> okay. Is it in effect yet? Basically. Uh, come on, keep going. Okay, so no, he hasn't added it yet. So, service penalty. Basically, if you leave. Well, it says here remaining damages and running costs of abandoned locomotives are deducted from your job payments at a penalty rate. Um, preventatively refuel. Preemptively. Preventively. Whatever, uh, refuel and repair locomotives before abandoning them to avoid penalty. Basically, you've got to refill it, repair it, all that jazz um, before getting another one or before jumping out. And yeah, um, but that at the moment don't matter. So that's a good thing because I can go in here now. And if we go over here, so yeah, this is another thing I'm going to get. I could get it, don't know where to find it, it says a secret vehicle and it's old Bob's garage, so I don't know where exactly that'll be, but we're not here for that, no, we're here for this, to get longer trains, and this, come on, there you go, okay, and then, to pay, it's pretty clever, so you look, insert wallet to pay, I mean, that's not really how you do it, but you go, Oh shit, you lose money like that. Ooh. Okay, can I have them back? Okay, what is it? Okay. Oh, okay, so you got to be careful. Okay, it's never done that before. Okay, that's cool. Um, turn into Mr. Crab some. <laughs> you could have me money. <laughs> well, anyway, there's that. So that's paid, and then go... Cha-ching, and... Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> that's cool okay so we got the steam locomotive and by the way you don't even have to keep these which is pretty cool you can just have them as is um, but we've got the long trains so we can haul really long carriages like that one over there H hence the fact that we just had some more stuff come in let me just put that there yeah that didn't work so you don't need to keep these which is the good news so if you drop them or lose them there's no worries in fact it even tells you in the game that if you have any of these jobs that you don't want to do, you just basically take them and throw them in the bin. It's as simple as that. Okay, so there. Right. So now we've got the train and we've got longer tr longer things. Is there any longer ones here? Don't look like there is. Um, maybe this one. I mean, this one's... No, nah, that's not really that much longer. Maybe I need to restart the game. I don't know. Um, but now we've got it. It means that it's there, so... But anyway, so, let's go to the steam train. Steam train, choo-choo. Here we go. L002. 13 metres long. 100,000 kilos, a.k.a. 100 tonnes of badassery. And quite frankly, I really wish I'd left the thumbnail for the first episode with this one. Because it would make more sense being a big fuck-off train. 
Woo. What happened? Oh, okay, it's just loading. Okay, so you got whistle, but it only works if you got steam in it. So, right, this is why I say I needed to stand up because look, I got to do so much. So, first thing I got to do is pull this, or is it push? No, it's pull that. So that the no, it's push. Hang on, I got a manual. <laughs> okay, so I know that I have to. I can't remember if it was open or close it. So. Uh, release it so pull it towards me okay then I pull this oh no twist it there you go and then that lets water into there I'll put this back because I want to see how much I can remember okay so now that's full we turn that off then we open the firebox that's pretty cool that's tiny <laughs> but that's pretty cool okay so the firebox is opened do we have to open this, or do we just shovel it from there? Okay, I think I'm just shoveling from there. So, um, I need... Hang on, okay, you know what, I'm just going to read the book. Okay, so step one, undo, undo that. Step two, step step two, open the firebox. Okay, my bad. Uh, shovel coal into it. Okay, I did this a bit wrong. Light the fire using a lighter. Close the fire door. Add water to the boiler. Okay, so we'll start from there. So let's get my shovel. Let's get my shovel. Hang on, hang on. Okay. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> hang on. Get okay, never mind. That is cool, but also terrifying. No, I want a bit more than that. There you go. This is cool. Okay, let's go for a few more bits. I mean, really, you don't want to overload it too much because you'll just get too much fire, but fuck it. Let's just go a couple more. Okay, that's enough. Okay, so let's go stack this there. I say stack it, stand it, I mean. There we go, right. Now, I need my lighter. Where do I put my lighter? My lighter is here. Don't blow my head off, don't blow my head off, don't blow my head off. Light up, or do I just throw it in? <laughs> hang on. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, hang on. Okay, hang on. Right, come back. Um. Oh, God. Shit. <laughs> I shrunk. Come on, go back. There you go. Um. I guess I just throw the lighter in. Or do I have to put it far enough in? Giggity. Okay, let's try. Okay, let's try this again. And throw this in. Where are you working? <laughs> I'll throw it in. Oh, I do throw it in. Oh, bang it. That's tiny. Okay, close the firebox. Okay, steam, okay, temperature's coming up, banging, steam is slowly rising, cool, okay, okay, cool, no, wrong way, come on, don't do this to me, water into there, close injector when water meter is full, observe steam being generated, we're at two bars, n n now, <laughs> Okay, uh, roll cut off forward as far as it goes. Okay, let's go there. Okay. Oh! My ears! Ah! <laughs> okay, that's cool. Oh, it actually glows more. I wonder how much it goes down by, okay. Um, Release the brake. Yeah, that looks like the brake as well. Yeah, okay. Um, gently push the regulator forward for higher top speed. Pull back the cutoff. Maintain fire as needed. Uh, to coast, release the regulator. To stop, apply the brake. Sand. Oh, where's that? That's uh, that. Um, what's this thing? Oh, no, that's sand. Yeah, that's sand. Okay. Oh, that's. Um, I can't remember what that's for. <laughs> I think that's to couple, isn't it? 
Um, high temperature means faster steam generation. Uh, boosts fire using steam. Boosts fire using air ventilation. And that's it. Okay, so let's pop that back in there. Uh, oh, it goes back in automatically. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> Come here. Right, how do I release presser, presser, pressure? Surely it just gets to a point because I've got to release pressure somehow. That's hot. And we're burning through quite a lot of water. Can I not? Why is that bit glowing? Okay, well anyway, let's um, let's get this doggy going, shall we? Let's... Uh... Okay, and break off. Oh wait, is that on? Yeah, that's on. Get some coal in there. Go on, keep going. Because we're burning through this shit quick. How fast do we go? Where's the speedometer? Pop the boiler up. Cool! Hang on. How do you go in reverse? Oh yeah, I've got to do that. Okay, so let's go like this. Put the brake on. Because I want to go that way. Oh, that's cool. It's not attached. Oh! Is that what's that for? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was worth a shot. Right, hang on. While I'm here, I might as well get a bit more coal. This is sick. I can't, I got to work on the technique for that. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Oh. Come on. There you go. It's so much easier in real life. Trust me. I mean, it's a lot more intensive, but a lot more labour intense, but. Okay, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Can I just do this one-handed? Kind of. Push you in. There you go. A little bit more. Okay. And... Ew. Would you stop moving? This thing keeps moving back and forward, man. It's terrifying the crap out of me. <laughs> Uh-oh. How do you... How, oh, is that because I'm overdoing it? How do I... How do I... How do I vent the pressure? Uh-oh. Is this? It's not that. Oh, wait. Oh, that's beautiful. It does it itself. Hang on, can I just do this? <laughs> Kinda works. <laughs> it is literally how I remember it, but yeah, to, I can't remember how you vent pressure in this or in any event. Um, but anyway, I want to go backwards. Okay. That is so cool sounding. So cool! I love this. Okay, I don't know how you turn the the thing down because otherwise it's just gonna keep burning through stuff. Oh, hang on. Where is that? There you are. Gone too far again. Hang on. <laughs> I hope these things don't blow up because I know you can derail. I know you can derail, but I hope to God you can't blow up. 
Oh, that's dope. Okay. I've got to figure out how to vent it, though, because that is a thing. You can let the steam out. You have to. But I'm glad it's automatic at the moment. Right, I'm just going to quickly change this while I'm here. Because I want to go to the farm. I want to go down to the farm, see what stuff they've got, and do a little haulage mission in this. Because obviously I've just got this. This is sick. I'm loving this completely. It's just so cool. Right. I want to go forward again. There you go. All the way forward. Brakes off. And away we go. A little bit more than that. Oh, that is cool. But yeah, there's got to be a way you can vent it manually. There's got to be. Cool. Coasting. Yeah, yeah. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Two hands it then. Okay. It's like an ice ice cube dispenser on a fridge. <laughs> you just go. <"Boop." laughs> One more. There you go, that'll do. Pop that down there. Nice! Where's the speedometer anyway? Oh, there it is. Okay, hang on. Back off the speed a bit. <laughs> it's so cool! Oh, no way! <laughs> no way! Oh, you can't do it all manually, though. Oh, that is so cool! I can't wait. Oh yeah, and another thing is this. Um, stand on top. This. Um, yeah, a train surfing, bitch. <laughs> this is so cool. This is so cool. Um, uh oh. Ah! <laughs> This is not where I want to be. Open the doors. Open the door. Where's the head? Let me out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I need to take the brakes off. <laughs> but no, what I was going to say was... Oh, we've got, no, we got no water, that's why. There you go. Um, but no, so, as I was saying... I like how that's still glowing, like, but it's really weird. Right. Alright. Cool. So, um, yeah, the game I'm loving right now with this. This is brilliant, this is. I like it when it's like this because I don't have to edit it too much because I can just leave it as is and you know because it's it's showing everything off. But oh, that's weird. <laughs> I thought that was the decouple. I can't remember what that. Oh god, what happened? Have I come off? The trackings went out for some reason. There you go. Oh, I mean, I mean the. There you go. <laughs> yep. Sorry about that. The tracking went out for a second then. Right. Where are we? Oh, we're plenty far enough. Right. We're not going to go that much further. Okay. Okay. We'll go a little bit further and then we'll come to a stop, shall we? So I'm guessing when that comes off the pressure goes down and everything because that would make sense. Okay, let's go to a stop. Oh, beautifully stopped. Why isn't this working? This one? No. God damn it. <laughs> What's that? Why why is this suddenly done this? Is it have I broke the train? Is that what's happening? Is that what it's trying to tell me? No, there we go. Oh, I guess it just went weird because of the thing. Right, so, let's see. 
Let's see what we got. We got anything? Okay, we got a hall to food and factories. Where are we? We are here. That is quite a fucking way. I don't think I'm going to do that. It says 38 minutes, but I think 38 minutes. Well, actually, it could be if I go up that way. Yeah, and then we come down from the north. Okay, hang on. The orientation's gone funny. Okay, there you go. That's better. Right. No. <laughs> when I'm hitting the right, I want the right one. When I hit the left, I want the left. She's son of a bitch. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Okay. Not that one. <laughs> um, what was it? Food factory and town. My leg is in the... <laughs> uh, food factory. So, we will be coming in from the north. So, it will be like this. Okay. Okay, let's grab this. Pop this down. Go, boop. Cool. And, oh my god, that's a big one. It's a big one! Okay. So, 008 and I04. I04 is the first one on the right. No, left. No, wait. Coming in from this direction. Northeast. Oh no, it's on the left. What am I on about? Yeah, my bad. I'm reading this wrong. It's on the left. First one on the left. Okay. Okay, so you can go there and you can go back there. God damn it. <laughs> Why has this game gone weird all of a sudden? <laughs> right. Okay, let's go. Let's go do this. Let's do this. Okay, so I O. Sorry, I think it's this one, right? Oh, oh, yep, yeah, it's this one. Okay, so if I go all the way to the end, go all the way to the end and back it up, lock on. I don't know how. Oh, wait, it's the button. So, what the hell is this thing for then? Ain't that for. Ain't that for venting something or. something? I can't remember. <laughs> oh, yeah, and obviously, if you don't shovel enough coal in enough or often enough, the. Um, Steam pressure goes down there uh, because uh, you know you don't burn as much water because it's not as hot. So that's why you need to do that. Um, right. So I need to go forwards. So if I just go like this, still got plenty of steam, so I don't need to worry about the. Don't need to worry about doing the shit. <laughs> don't need to worry about doing the thing too much at the moment. Let's just get me going forward for now. Okay. See, look, we're still losing a fair amount of steam because of this. But don't worry, once I've got locked on, I'll start shoveling again. That was loud that time. Let's just top this up. It's working. It's working! It's working! <laughs> okay, now this is the hard part. I can't tell how far I'm going to go back. <laughs> now, if I go over here. Okay. Let's go back over here. Why does it do that? Okay. Oh, it's my mattress. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Ever so close though. <laughs> okay, no worries. Back up a bit more and stop. Relax on. Wait. 
Five? Five? I was only meant to take four. What the hell? Or does it include this one? Yeah, I think it classifies that the, the coal carriage as a, as a thing as well. That's pretty dope. That's pretty clever. I like that. That's a good t attention to detail. Uh, so yeah, I got all four. That's beautiful. So yeah, it definitely counts this one. 50 tons. Dude. Mental. Look at this thing now. How cool is it? Right. Okay, so let's go and shovel some coal in while we've still got a flame. God damn it. <laughs> Stop twisting. Stop it. <laughs> okay, that'll do. Pop that there. Close this up. And... Is the water fine? Have we got enough water? Taking that as a yes. Oh no, it's that way to turn it off. My bad. <laughs> okay. No, oh, come on. There you go. Right. Okie dokie. And off that. And away we go. I think that's the damp now, actually. I remember rightly now. Listen to that puppy go. It's pulling up a lot of weight though. Oh. Yeah, it's fucked up with the orientation now. <laughs> right. Um, so, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just go to here, and then what I'll do is I'll kind of do a three-point turn sort of thing. So I'll come on, come down here, and then I'll reverse all this back up to here, and then come back up this way. Seems a bit long-winded, but as we don't have turntables or anything like that, I just can't be asked with it. It has. It's switched hands around. No, it's just being a dick, because if I do it this side now... I don't know. Oh. I'm sick of this. <laughs> okay, so I need to go to the left up here. Damn it. Okay, hang on. There you go. Pop that on there. Ah! Aha uh ha -huh. ha! Gotcha! So what else have we got? Lower... Um, fire out. Oh nice, so you can use them. That's banging that is. And just turn this to go left. God damn it! <laughs> Cool. Good. Right, and then get back in this bad boy. No, get back in this bad boy. <laughs> Hang on. There you go. <laughs> this thing is so heavy. It is nothing to those carriages. The other train, you kind of see it like jolt, you know, when it does it. Not this. Let's just top that back up properly. <laughs> now we'll do. OK. 
Okay. Need to get some coal going. Let me just... Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Right, let's do some coal while I wait. Hooah! And then grab you. God damn it. Getting better at it. <laughs> One more. There you go. Perfect. Stand that like that. Close that up. Are we there yet? <laughs> I just thought when I get back to the. Ooh! When I get back to the farm, yeah, I'm gonna have to switch this to go to the right. Oh no! To the left. And we have to switch again because don't forget we picked these things up back here. And we had to switch tracks. Yeah, this one. No, not that one. That. Like a telegram's come through. There we go, that's the one we want. What the hell? Quicker, quicker! Getting better at this. <laughs> oh, almost. <laughs> Say that and I'll fuck it up. There you go. One more. There you go. <laughs> I need to get some water. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no, I'm drifting. <laughs> I'm drifting the train! Oh god, no, we're gonna do We're crashing! Oh no. I drifted the train! <laughs> I drifted it and it didn't derail. It's still not derailed. Look, it's not derailed. <laughs> I, di I drifted in the train. Okay, can I reverse this so I can fix this problem? <laughs> I can't believe I did that. My drift train. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> it's not it really is trying to drift look the front wheels are facing that side of there I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm desperately gonna try where's my mattress no right um so I'm in reverse break off fingers crossed people <laughs> no way <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is brilliant! Yeah, look, you see a little bit of water, that would be where you'd scoop it up. Oh, that's brilliant! That is fucking hilarious! That has made my night, that has. I don't care how long this is taking, this is gonna get done, I am gonna finish. This train is so good to me, it didn't even want to fuck up. It just wants me to succeed. Look, I just went for a sign, for Christ's sake. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's not even attached anymore. <laughs> here we go, here we go, come on. <laughs> Deja vu. 
<laughs> Is it gonna fix itself? Come on. Come on, baby. <laughs> I gotta get this from a third person view. Oh, 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 it's fixing itself. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's because I did it. Just as this went past, it switched, but it's there. You go. <laughs> I've never laughed so hard in a while. <laughs> oh, sweet mama. Ah, uh, here's the problem. I've got no steam being generated. My coal is fine, but I need more to go in there. But I need more water. That's the main problem. Yeah, see that we're running out, we need a little water in there as quickly as possible. Now I don't know how to get it in there. <laughs> I mean I do, but I've got to get it all the way over there and I can't do that. This is the problem, you should have had a way to go to stations and there'd be like a little box of them on the side. I know there was one at the top place where we started this episode in. Because that's how I started, that's how I left off. Yeah, there's my mattress, okay. <coughs> yeah, look, it's full open and it's just not giving me any more. <laughs> Still, I'll try to get it to the end of this track and see if I can fill it up then, because it's right over there, so I know it's not close enough, but I ain't got no other way of doing it unless I get the diesel train and pull it and then pull it back in. in. But I can't be asked with that, that's going to be a hell of a lot of something. <laughs> I mean, I'll have to, obviously. Why? <laughs> Unless that's telling me I can, that's where I need to be to fill it up. Like it's going ding ding to say you can fill up. Alright, let's stop it here because I can't really get it to go any further. Tell you what, let's put this fire out. Oh wait, yeah, you need water to put the fire out. <laughs> okay, never mind. Right, so let's go see if I can now top up. I don't think I'll be able to, but like I said, they should have had something along here. Unless I'm blind, and there is. No, there ain't. <laughs> Hang on. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to jump in this bitch to move it. Um. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm going to use this, hopefully, to tow that train and get it down here. I'll try. I will try. I want this to be a journey. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot the buzzer thing in there, <laughs> god damn it, oh well this is already lined up anyway, I've got to go down here, oh wait, is this going to this gonna switch isn't it, fucking knew it, got to go all the way back here, to grab this, <laughs> put that in there, <laughs> fuck's sake, <laughs> okay, no, god, <laughs> Yeah, okay. Off, on. Oh, okay, when I lock on, I'll detach the back cards. Hopefully this works. Fingers crossed this works. This should work. <laughs> Please work. Uh-oh. Oh. Hey, it worked. Banging. <laughs> okay. Detach them four. We'll come back for them later. Come on, but Oh my god! It's so heavy. Oh, hang on. Is it because i got the brakes on? Hang on. I've got the brakes on. No, go in there. No, go in there. Yes, yeah, because i got the brakes on. <laughs> Take the brakes off. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Now we can go. Slowly but surely. 
a train pulling another train. <laughs> a small train pulling an even bigger train. <laughs> okay. Hopefully the recorder is okay. Hopefully it's not fucked up yet. Because <laughs> this is too spectacular. First I make it drift. <laughs> and then I'm having to fill it up using another train. <laughs> I mean, this is a real world thing. This probably would happen in an event as well. But, ah, oh, Jesus, man. <laughs> this is too hilarious. <laughs> this is too funny. Okay. Oh shit, that's right, it's two trains, so it's slowing both down. Oh god. Come on, baby. Come on, don't overheat on me. It is helping to stop a hundred... a hundred thousand kilos. Oh wait, it might be in help if I... A, put the brake on here. And B, had this in somewhat neutral, eh? That might help. That might help. <laughs> we don't know, we'll see. <laughs> and... There you go. Oh, hang on. Before I forget. Plenty of time. Pop that in, and let's just go. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine, okay. Let's get back in here. Boop. I'm dying for a drink right now, I'm really thirsty. I'm as thirsty as this fucker here. <laughs> right, better start slowing it, because if I don't, then it will just drag me along and smack into that pillar thing over there, but this is a nice pace. This is a good pace. Don't want to speed this up, don't want to slow it down. This is alright. Let's come to a complete stop. Let's detach. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's just going to roll back on your own now, is it? Is you? Right, let's go reverse. Because I've got some steam. Oh god, I've not got much. <laughs> well. <laughs> come on. Come on, <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> Surely this thing isn't still 100,000 tonnes, or 100,000 kilo. How's it 100,000 kilos? It's not got half the water, it's not even got any of the water on it. Sand, might as well. Three dollars. Oil, we don't need. Uh, wheels are fine. Amazingly, body is fine. Amazingly, holy hell, after that drift, I can't believe that. Need a lot of water though. A lot of water, a lot of coal as well. How did we run out of coal so quick? Oh, that it? Oh, I can drain it too. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now I want all the water, all the coal. Fourteen hundred. That is a bargain. Merci beaucoup. There you go. You got water again. Bugger off. <laughs> Okay, first I've got to... Let's put this fire out real quick. Oh, right, yeah, 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 i got to put the... What's happening? Did I fuck up somewhere? <laughs> Why is the water not going in? Oh, did I have that open the entire fucking time? No, 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 that's draining it. Okay. What? So that's been full this entire time? That doesn't put the fire out. <laughs> Um, wait, so what was stopping it generating steam? And why is its wheels slowly turning? Oh, wait. 
No, that's fully off. What the hell? Oh. There you go. Um. Can't be that, because I shoveled some stuff in there and it just wouldn't make any more. I mean, I've got to shovel some more in now. Might as well, isn't it? Oh, look at that. I'm getting good at that. Oh, yes. Three in a row. Ah, almost. <laughs> One. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Close that, that's going to get hotter again, that's going to build steam up again. That's irritated me, that has. I'm going to check to make sure I'm full. Yeah, I had tons of water left. I just noticed that status, it tells me how much is left, I've only just got that. <laughs> right, well, never mind, right, let's just... Thank you, you too. That's pissed me off, that has. <laughs> you got to think how powerful this is compared to that tiny little diesel engine. Because this thing can shift itself easily. That thing was having trouble trying to stop this thing. Even when... Why does it do that? I really would like to... Oh, I know. It's telling me to shovel. Oh, that is... Oh. Okay, I did it. Cool. I don't know how far away we are, but... Uh... I mean, I'll find out as soon as I smack into the fucking thing. Okay, let's just get to shovel in real quick. Ow, I found him. Enjoying this, to be fair, as much as a, a fuck up as I've been. Oh well, though. as much of a fuck up as I've been in, in the whole steam locomotive. I'm actually enjoying all this. So that ding is telling me that needs. To st okay, that's cool. That's cool. No, there you go. Right now, onwards with our journey. So we go forward. There you go. Breaks off, and away we go again. <laughs> This is such a beautiful game because uh, I bet you I've been recording for like two hours now. What's the bet? <laughs> oh, I need some more water. Bruce Lee's favourite drink and mine as well. I forgot to get mine. I'm to die for a drink now. <laughs> Alright, that'll do it. Right, while this is still going, I will get a quick drinky winky. Hang on, let's try to do it with the, with the headset on. Let's try to find it because it should be over here. Where's the thing? Okay. Around here. A little bit to the left. Oh, oh, no, that's the... Where did I put it? <laughs> it should be here. <laughs> um, where did I put it? <laughs> Is it on my chair? Aha! It's on my chair. I got it. I got it. It's here. Yeah. Keep the immersion real. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Beautiful. Nice, refreshing beverage. So where are we? <laughs> okay, what was that? Why have we stopped? Oh god, no. Oh god, no. <sighs> I derailed it. I derailed the back two carriages. Are you... I didn't derail the truck. But I've derailed... All of them. God damn it! <laughs> You know what, fuck it, let's get to the next place, because there's a shop there, so there'll be... I can't believe I did that. I was going to make some money, because how much money have I got? Oh, okay, I've got plenty still to buy the... Uh... 
Whoa! <laughs> I still got plenty to buy the uh, special locomotive. Okay. Jesus! I still can't believe I did that. I don't need this anymore. <laughs> fucking thing. <laughs> I was hoping to do a job, I didn't do one in the last episode because the fucking thing just kept... It, it kind of broke on me. And this time around it's just my fucking stupidity. <laughs> Although it was my stupidity the last time, if I'm being honest as well. <laughs> uh. Right. Well, I'm pissed off with myself, but I did promise that I would derail myself. <laughs> and I kind of did it, but I didn't derail the locomotive, so... And as it doesn't cost me to do um, any repairs, repairs, I just want to grab this. No, grab this. Grab it. <laughs> Put it back in there. Right. Everything. Okay, you know what we're going to do, people. You better know what we are going to do. Kaboom! <laughs> just because of all the pressure, not being able to get out. Ah, oh. <laughs> two hours and sixteen minutes that was. I'll probably condense it down to as close to you know, as, well as short as I can really. But obviously, it being so long, I'll probably get maybe an hour out of it. So I'm sorry. I mean, if you've watched it this far, then you're a trooper and a legend, and I thank you very much. Um, but that was. I tell you what, the steam locomotive. I fucking love. The only downside is that I do need to, you know, move my bed to use the whole room because of the fact that I've got to get up, I've got to shovel. While you can do it sat down, you still need to do the teleport, or you can use the smooth locomotion, which is basically where you're moving. But if you if you get if you're um, new to VR, I would suggest not doing that because you can get very motion sickness, -y, which even sometimes I still do. Today I was all right, weirdly, but um, yeah, like I say. I love the steam locomotive when it te it tells you when you need to shovel. That's pretty cool. You know, it goes ding ding and you start shoveling to get it back up. That's cool. The only thing I had an issue with was the water meter wasn't going down. It wasn't generating steam, which didn't make no sense to me. <laughs> even though it had water in. That was kind of funny though. What was even more funny was when I drifted the fucking thing. Oh my god, that was hilarious. <laughs> I still, I'll never forget that. I drifted a steam train, baby. <laughs> How many people can say that? Oh, I fucking lamb. <laughs> but yeah, definitely, if you guys want to see me play the next, uh, sorry, if you guys want to see me do more in this, um, whether it just be like, I could even do a live stream once I figure out how to do it properly, because um, I was going to do it for Elite Dangerous at Christmas, um, for the whole um, delivering uh, Void Opals and stuff to people. I was going to do that as a live stream, but... Um, couldn't really figure it out as such. I think I've got the hang of it now. I just haven't actually tested it. You know, I haven't actually tried it. So um, I'll have to try it. Like I say, I probably might do it with this. You know, it'd be a bit weird though. Um, but yeah, and uh, like I say, so the next episode I will definitely be going into that whole um, secret vehicle, which I believe is just a, a custom locomotive, a custom uh, diesel electric. Uh, train which will probably be a bit bigger a bit more powerful hopefully um than the um one that i got but in terms of like actual power i believe the steam engine is the best because it, it weighs more but it shifts itself so much easier and i can't believe i derailed it so close to the end <laughs> i really can't i'm really pissed off with that because i would have earned uh twenty thousand at least you know i wouldn't have earned any more because obviously even though it was a i think it was like a 40 odd minute 
uh, job and because of my fuck up in the beginning where I needed more steam or more water sorry it kind of you know put me back a fair amount but apart from that it was fun I really enjoy it don't have work tomorrow luckily um, but um, I want to do some editing get some of these videos out I'll probably do this one first which might seem weird but I want to put this one out first because um, I can tell I've seen people like this game along with Iron Wolf so I might do that one as well I might do that one first and then do this one I don't know because obviously I want to try out you know reach out to people and especially with this game and get them into it and whatnot and show them what it's like because you can play it on PC the controls have been adapted so you can play it with a mouse and keyboard um, so you can use it on a normal display but it is in my opinion better expressed better experienced um, through VR but that's literally as you know it's it's a bit obvious there because it's like clickety click click or actually move the shit yourself you know what I mean um, but yeah I absolutely love this game it is so much fun my favorite thing to use is the diesel electric because I can just use it sat down in a chair because I don't have to move I can just go click 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 and just move the levers that's it um, but with the steam train you kind of do need a room scale sort of thing to use it you know properly because like I say you got to move over here you got to move the wheel you got to do this you got to do that open the valve close the valve you know regulator hoot hoot <laughs> and all that like you know you got to it's kind of all over the place so um, in terms of bugs but like I say I know that there is supposed to be or have been an update in March um, clearly that hasn't been updated like I said in the beginning I was thinking it might have because it's April now um, technically it's April the 1st but still <laughs> um, but like I say so um, yeah this like I say is such a cool game at the moment and like I say the developers got quite a few things in, pl in plan um, but they need or he wants more exposure he wants more people to get on board with it so as you can see here this is the derail valley roadmap for things to come in the near future and in the far future so these ones here are the ones coming pretty much in the next update um, and this should have come as he as I've said in the uh, video um, in March but um, at the moment it hasn't arrived yet so hopefully it will be very soon so uh, as you can see we've got service penalty which as I've stated in the game isn't implemented yet Gilbert's depot which is a new um, a new outpost sort of place a new type of job so hazardous materials um, different parts of the world have been changed so rework harbor station some villages and houses speed and grade signs which is pretty cool um, a train shutter a shunter remote controller so you don't have to be in the train to use it that's very nice um, and some fixes and improvements and then obviously these are all the ones we've got currently implemented so uh, wheel slip and sand uh, steam train some uh, cars so flatbed stuff like that and you can read all this on your own so um, and then so like here so the coming later ones so these are the ones that we need to get the exposure for um, so you got rail bus electric loco locomotive diesel locomotive uh, custom skin locos new cars and cargo electric multiple unit caboose uh, save game slots which is going to be very good but I believe they're coming fairly soon anyway um, owning trains and depots that's pretty cool um, re-railing so obviously if you derail you can put it back on don't know how that's going to work maybe a crane perhaps I don't know uh, turntable definitely need that signals aged tracks so I'm guessing there's going to be some tracks that if you go over too quickly they can throw you off and derail you uh, roads so I'm guessing again I guess we're going to have some cars and stuff that are going to be coming through which are going to be pretty cool uh, multi-unit controller so I'm guessing it's kind of like the remote controller for the shunter but it's going to be for multiple different trains perhaps I don't know uh, stat booster upgrades again don't know pocket watch that'd be pretty nice when the day and night um, cycles in um, and also when you're doing a job so obviously you got like a stopwatch to sort of like time it and make sure you get on time and stuff uh, passenger hall jobs that's pretty cool timetable jobs and AI trains so that's pretty cool but obviously if you click on here it takes you to here so right now uh, 27,579 points the next goal is 30,000 so the first goal was 5,000 and that's hazardous material jobs 10,000 early rail bus access uh, uh, 15,000 for the shunter 20,000 for the caboose 
25,000 for the diesel locomotive. In the next one, we get to do mods um, for the for uh, the trains. So we can put in our custom trains and stuff like that um, in a way. Uh, and that's 30,000. Then two player co op. Now that would be cool. Um, a 35, day and night cycle of 40, a new world of 45, world mod support. So, and, and when I looked at these two, I just thought straight away to farming simulator. So um, obviously, and you can help him by joining his Discord, and that'll get five points. Uh, join, subscribe to the Reddit, so that's another five points. Go on his YouTube and subscribe there. Uh, Twitter, uh, that's another two points, and he's on Facebook, and that's a point. So in reality, like obviously, go for these three here. <laughs> but yeah, so as he says here, each new subscriber adds visibility points as shown above. As we gain more points, we will reach our visibility goals and unlock content rewards for everyone. Note, we don't want anyone spamming the internet, and that's obviously a good, uh, bad thing. So you don't want to spam it, you want to, you know, keep it so that it's, you know tolerable uh, the end goal is introduced is to introduce derail valley to true fans who are willing to subscribe and help us grow the game and our community further and i quite agree that's really what i want so here we go so he's got when they'll be added so hazardous material jobs and bonus location and shunt a remote controller march obviously that's already gone now so i'd say it's april time with the early rail bus access in May you got Caboose and in June you got the diesel locomotive and as I say here that is the last one to add until we hit 30,000 which we are very close to quite frankly um, so yeah 30,000 is the mod support for the trains and then 35 is two player co-op now that one would be pretty cool especially if you could do it as a uh, sort of like a well I mean technically you're still on PC but one's in VR and one's in um, normal kind of like how Payday 2 works where you can use it VR style and you can still play with people that are just using it as I'm using my computer right now with a mouse and keyboard. That'd be pretty cool. This has been Derail Valley, episode 2. And like I say, I will see you in episode 3. So I hope you're having a nice day and a nice night. And I will see you in the next one. But first, we must pay homage to Prince Vegeta. <laughs>